Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. So tonight's Friday and um, I'm going to do a what's for dinner. Now, Thursday was Thanksgiving yesterday, obviously, and I'm exhausted still from that. I did shopping today. I posted my hauls up there. If you guys um, go to my channel, go, you'll see that my hauls are up. My haul was posted for I did a Sam's haul and a um, Walmart haul. So tonight we're doing something very simple. I got these pizza crusts that I showed on my haul from Sam's Club. These thin crusts right here. Guys, they come with sauce and everything. Okay, I'm making, I had, let me show you what I had. I had leftover sausage and meatballs from the other night when I made a gravy. Okay, so I have sauce from that. And what I did was I took meatballs and sausage out of it, cut it all up, and I'm gonna put that on one of the pizzas. Now, like I said, this comes with sauce. My husband and I tonight, we're gonna use my sauce. We're not gonna use that sauce because um, I figured let me just get, you know, use, use out of the rest of this gravy here because probably after after today, well, I'll throw it out. I won't, won't be able to use it anymore, you know, because it's gonna be on its way out. So yeah, so we're gonna utilize the sausage and the meatballs. We're gonna do a sausage and meatball pie and a cheese pie. It's Jenny, it's just basically Jenny, I, and hubby tonight. Um, Julie's out and stuff, so she's not gonna be here. So I'm gonna make a cheese pie and I'm gonna make a sausage and meatball pie. And I'm gonna make a Caesar salad. We got Caesar salad from Walmart today, guys. You ever get this from Walmart? It's great. It's a family pack of Caesar salad. Really, really great. So we're gonna have Caesar salad. We're gonna have um, pizza. Now, I have the crust in here, I'll show you, because I we, we like them to get a little bit crispy. So I have the crust in here, I put a little bit of olive oil on both of them, and I'm just waiting for them to get a little bit crispy. And then I'm gonna take them out, and I'm gonna start um, assembling the pizzas. Let me see what how they're doing. Thank you. Mm, another couple of minutes, and they'll, be, and they'll be done, and then I'll show you guys how I assemble the pizza. All right, guys, so the crusts are all ready. Look at this, let me show you. How nice and crispy that one got. This one was on the top, it didn't get as crispy, but it will when I put it back in there. I'll put that one on the bottom and it'll get nice and crispy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put sauce on the pizzas, spread it out. Okay, let's put some on each. Put some on each and then I'll, then I'll mix it in. Got to try to not get, um, it's good because the sauce is nice and, it's nice and thick. So it should be great. And it has all the flavor in it already. I'm going to put lots of flavor in it, guys, but it has all the flavorings, obviously. Spread this out. Yummy. Mmm. It's gonna be so good, guys. I love homemade pizza. Love it. Okay, let's mix it. Get this one in. So yummy. It's the first time ever trying these crusts from um, Sam's Club, but I think they're gonna be really good. They look awesome. A little bit more sauce on here. Okay. Now I'm gonna need a little bit more too. Comment below, guys. Tell me what you like. Do you like a um a very saucy pizza, or do you like a piece more cheese than than sauce? I like it kind of medium. I don't like too much sauce, but I don't like too little either. All right. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the, oh wait, first I'm gonna put the cheese. Wait a minute. Hello. What? Yeah, what do you guys like? Do you like Chicago pizza from more like New York pizza or Chicago pizza? Deep dish or thin? I like a thin pizza, but although I do like, you know, I do like a 
like I find a deep dish pizza too, so. You can't beat New York pizza, really. When I moved to, when I lived in Florida, it was when we lived in Florida, it was horrible. Alright, so this one I'm gonna do cheese, just cheese guys. Okay. This one's just gonna be plain cheese for Jen. I got this cheese from Sam's today. Because I, I didn't I forgot at Walmart. Well, I didn't know what we were making at Walmart when we were at Walmart. We didn't make we, we didn't know we were gonna make a homemade pizza, so I didn't get what's sitting there. And I do have a little bit in the fridge, but a block, but not a lot. And um Sam's only had the uh the shredded for some reason. Okay, so let's put the cheese on this one, guys. Get it all distributed. Now put as much cheese as you like, or what kind of cheese you like. I like provolone on my pizza sometimes. Um, all well, different. We even put like um, the, the the cheddar cheese on our pizzas a lot. Like when we make when we make like the frozen pizzas, like the Celeste pizzas and stuff, we always add um, cheddar cheese to our pizzas. Always, we always have. Cause they never put enough pizza on it. I mean, they never put enough. Um, cheese on the pizzas. Alright, finish the rest of this off. Alright guys. Okay. Now I'm going to put this sausage, distribute the sausage and the and the meat woo, and the meatballs all over. It's gonna be yummy. Yummy, yummy. Nothing like homemade meatballs and homemade sauces on your pizza. Right? Yum. Oh, God. Yeah, guys. I mean, I mentioned below, guys. If you guys are exhausted from Thanksgiving, because I am. You know, it, Thanksgiving and like the holidays, it's, it's you always prepare, you know, a couple of days before. So it's like you're pooped because you're, you're preparing and then on the day, um, you know, just a lot, a lot of work. Love it, but it's a lot of work. All right, let's get a little bit more sauce on there. The more the better. Should I put cheese on top of the meat? Huh? Should I put cheese on top of the meat? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. The more cheese, the better. The more cheese, the better. What are you going to do, though? I want to put a little some flavorings on it. I'm gonna put some parsley. This thing is a joke. Parsley. I'm gonna put some thyme, guys. My thyme. Some thyme, just a little bit. Some basil. Yeah, we were out. Basil. A little bit of oregano. A little bit of the garlic powder. A little bit of onion powder. And yes, Italian seasoning. Where is it? Hello. I don't think this one's even open yet. Nope, this one's not even open. Italian, just a little bit of Italian seasoning because I put um, basil and oregano on it already. This is a different kind of Italian seasoning. Hmm. 
All right, guys, now let's put a little bit more cheese. That should be good. Put a little bit more cheese on this one again. Some grated cheese. And we're gonna put these in the oven now, guys. Look at these. Look, is that gonna be delicious? Yummy. Okay, I'm gonna put these in the oven now and I'll show you when they're done and I'll show you the Caesar salad. All right, guys, so I'm gonna make the Caesar salad. Now this is a family size one, it's a huge one. So we don't have the whole family tonight, so I'm not gonna make the whole entire bag. Bill, are you gonna have Caesar? Okay, so it's just going to be me and Jenny, so um, I don't need to make all the whole thing up. So this is probably going to be me. For me and Jen. Yeah, that'll be good. So then what they do is they send you, with the kit, they send you the, um, the Caesar dressing, the croutons. So I will use all of it. I'll use some of the croutons. Okay, croutons. Put like, you like croutons, so I'll put that amount in. Maybe a little bit more. <laughs> Make sure you grated cheese, like the shredded grated. Put some of that. I'm gonna put the Caesar dressing on at the end, but I won't use all of this. I'll probably just use like a half of it or a quarter of it. So, the Caesar salad is done. Where is the pepper? I put some pepper in it because I like pepper in my Caesar salad. Can't see with my glasses on. Without my glasses on. Put some pepper. I like a little grated cheese, even though I have the other cheese. And there we go, guys. Now that'll be, I'm just waiting for the pizza to be done. And we'll put that, um, we'll put that Caesar salad dressing on it. And we'll be set to go. I'm going to put a little bit of Italian. Oh, there is, that is Italian season there. That's all right. I like that other one, though. Um, put all these back. The olive oil back. We have grated cheese here. These I'll put in a um, in a little baggie to uh, to save for the next for the next one. And watch, come on, Coop. Out of the kitchen, Coopy. Out of the kitchen, Coop. Out of the kitchen. All right, I'll be back. Guys, here we go. They're done. There's the cheese. They literally took like eight minutes. That's it. And there's the other one. I'm going to slice them up. And then I'll let you see. And I'm going to put the, um, the dressing on the Caesar salad now. I'm going to open this up. Yeah, I'm only gonna put probably about that much. I like Caesar set. I like you know dressing, but I don't like an enormous amount of dressing. Give that a mix. Get in the crate. I like to get that beastie boy in the crate for dinner. That's perfect amount. It's just lightly coated. That's how I like it. Okay. These kits are so great, guys, to get. They really, really are great to get. All right, guys. Can I say hi? So, 
here's the, the cheese. There's the sausage and meatball. I put some parsley on it. Here's our Caesar salad plates. We're gonna eat now. That's Jenny's cheese plate over here. She's got her pizza there. Bill and I are gonna get our food now. And we're gonna eat. And pizza is what, homemade pizza is what's for dinner tonight, guys. So if you like this hey, video, hi. hit. Say hi. Hi, guys. Nice to see you again. I love you. So if you like this video, hit that thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the notification button so you guys can be notified every time I, I post, upload a video. All right, guys, so I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for supporting me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.